Well, we got something in the ministry P.O. box the other day, and I'm going to make a lot of people jealous. You already see it from the title of this video. It's called Holy, where's the thing here? Holy Blood of Jesus Oil. We got some, and we're going to be greedy. We're not going to share it with anybody because this is special stuff. Right there it is. Look at that. I can tell you're impressed. <laughs> you say, what are you talking about? I am not joking you. Right here is the letter. You can see a little picture of the uh, holy blood of Jesus oil right there. Okay, I'm going to read the letter to you. The stuff Charismatics come up with is just incredible. I mean, you know, P.T. Barnum, the circus guy, he said a sucker's born every minute. I think it was him. Either Barnum or Bailey, one of the two. But, you know, one of them said a sucker's born every minute. Well, in the Charismatic Church, it's more like every second. All right. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. Some good humor here. Um, Dear Brian, you know, form letter, and of course my name's all in capital there. You know, they're really concerned with me here. They just... Um, Brian, the Bible says in St. Mark 6, verse 13, and they cast out many devils with an, and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. Let me just look that up real quick here. Sometimes these wing nuts will use the King James Bible, you know. Other times they use the uh, Vatican versions, the NIV, ESV, NASB, whatever. Mark chapter 6, verse 13. I'm not sure. don't know that verse that well. Mark chapter 6, verse 13. And they cast out many devils and, and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. Yeah, okay. It's King James. Got to check these people out, but uh, that's about all the farther they're going to get here. Jesus' disciples used this unusual ministry to bring healing and deliverance to the sick and oppressed. They would anoint them with a little oil that God had blessed by His Holy Spirit. Huh? Where's that at? The oil alone had no power, but when saturated by prayer, it became the Holy Spirit's point of power. Chapter and verse, please. For bringing deliverance to people. Wow. When God spoke, throughout the Bible we read where anointing oil has been used. When God spoke to Samuel the prophet and told him that David was to be chosen king of Israel, Samuel anointed Saul's head with oil, 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 1. The oil that the prophet placed on David's head represented God's Holy Spirit. After becoming Israel's king, David mentioned the special anointing oil when writing his psalms, Thou anointest my head with oil, Psalm 23, verse 5. He knew this oil stood for God's power and presence in his life. The sick are healed by prayer and God's anointing oil. Um, for hundreds of years, the early Christians believed that by anointing the sick with oil and praying in the name of Jesus, that healing and miracles would happen. The Lord's servant, James, wrote in the New Testament, Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up. Um, the next they have for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 23. I mean, yeah, this isn't witchcraft here, you know, special red oil there, blood of Jesus oil. <laughs> That's not witchcraft. Breaking witchcraft spirits. Hmm. Many Christians think witchcraft is practiced only by those who worship the devil. devil. However, there is a much more subtle form of witchcraft. Rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. A rebellious child or grandchild that refuses to submit to authority can be used, can be under a witchcraft spirit. A husband or wife that wants to do his or her own thing rather than be a good spouse can be under witchcraft. A Christian that won't accept correction in church can be under a witchcraft spirit. If you feel these things are in your home, then anoint your front door with the blood of Jesus oil and command the devil out. You may also want to anoint Loved ones' pillows, clothes, shoes, etc. There you go. Super power. That's why I'm not going to share it with anybody. Because, man, i got all kinds of stuff to do with this. Rebuke the poverty devil. Oh, boy. Okay. So, so far, we're, we're dealing with people and devil spirits and spiritual things and whatever else. But now, hey, buddy, we're going after the poverty devil now. All right. This, this is where it gets good. 
But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. Deuteronomy 8, verse 18. We are always receiving calls here at Victory Temple Church from those who have received a money blessing after anointing their bills and credit cards with the red oil. It is <laughs> credit cards, okay. It is also very important that you anoint your doors, your wallet, and checkbook with this powerful oil. I am sending you a vial of the oil. It does not take a lot. This will get you started. I will send you more later. I'm sure after I've been blessed with money that I can, you know, kind of get some more oil a special way, you know. Bless them back a little bit, you know. Not a money-making scheme or anything. I mean, this is holy stuff, you know. <laughs> As a prophet, God has been using me over 50 years to help people just like you. Wow. Ruth Vale is an educator here in the East Tennessee area. She was facing foreclosure, but she anointed the house with the blood of Jesus soil. God sent her a qualified buyer. <laughs> she sold the house herself and made a profit. Yeah, well, just you're a prophet. She's, you know, prophet there too. Spelled differently, but... She got out of debt, then her credit rating jumped up over 100 points. I prophesied to, to her to sow a seed of $112 for Psalm 112, verse 3, for wealth and riches to be in her house. <laughs> I prophesy, you know, I'm prophesying. Wait, I'm getting it. It's coming. Send me $112. <laughs> okay. She obeyed her prophet, 2 Chronicles 20, verse 20, her prophet. Okay, yeah, we're still in the Old Testament, you know. Again, charismatic, charismatic nonsense, uh, non-dispensational, of course. And every Sunday as she drove to our church, she would stop her car and anoint another house with the blood of Jesus' oil. This is funny, too. She even put oil on the doorknobs. She is living in that house today. Praise the Lord. <laughs> she teaches high school and college students, a total of 191 students, she says, I am making more money than I, I have ever made in my life. Wait a second here. So um, she's taking this red goo here and she's going and she was putting it on somebody's doorknob of their house and then she got their house. Yeah, this happened in the book of Acts. I don't remember where, but it's there somewhere. Okay. And she's a teacher teaching high school and college students. Um, could you please show me that in scripture? Where a woman is supposed to teach other women's or other people's children? Or should be working outside of the home? Can you please show it to me? She's making more money than ever, though, because she used the blood of Jesus, holy oil. Plus, God saved her 20-year-old son who used and sold drugs. All these miracles because she obeyed the prophet. Wow! Don't obey the word of God. Obey the prophet, you know. Ruth sowed a Psalm 112, verse 3 seed of $112 for wealth and riches to be in her home. If you want wealth and riches in your home, I challenge you to sow a Psalm 112, three verse, verse 3 seed of $112. Yeah, you provide, you know, I provide the seed and they provide the manure. You know what I mean? God is no respecter of persons and there is no recession with God. <laughs> <laughs> obey God today. I kid you not, it says this. Here's your instructions on how to use the oil. Just open the blood of Jesus oil. Just put a little on your index finger and touch your forehead and say, Father, I anoint myself with this oil. Let a miracle take place in my body. In Jesus' name, amen. I wouldn't put that junk on my skin if you paid me to do it. No, I don't think so. If you want wealth and riches in your house, according to Psalm 112, verse 3, then sow your miracle seed of $112 for wealth and riches to come in your house. God says in Deuteronomy 8, verse 18, He would give you power to get wealth. Praise the Lord. <laughs> okay. I have a special word from God when you answer this letter, so hurry. There is a spirit of healing being released into your life right now. Wow. You know, I, I didn't even do it yet. And it's already been being released. And you can please mark a X on any sickness or financial obligations you need God to heal. Arthritis, blood pressure, stomach or colon, heart, back, lungs, I need a job, kidneys, diabetes, drugs, eyes, bad habits, finances, I need a house, I want a husband, I want a wife. Root worker, their name is root worker. Okay, I don't know what that's all about. Um, or any other problem. Uh, check here if you want, I want riches 
uh, I want wealth and riches in my house. Enclosed is $112. I do not have all of the $112 now, but I am sowing blank amount now and the rest later. Now take just a drop of the blood of Jesus oil that I sent you and anoint the corner of the best gift you can sow. It may be $25, $50, or $100, but just obey the Spirit. <laughs> I also want to thank you for your gift of $1. Peggy and I love you. What a bunch of devil-possessed idiots. I mean, my word. So, uh, note, watch us every Tuesday at 1 a.m. and Thursday and Friday at 12 midnight Eastern Standard Time on the Wood Word Network channel 373 on DirecTV and watch Facebook live every Sunday at 1045 a.m. Also watch us on Vic YouTube at Victory Temple Church, Woody Martin Ministries. You know, Winston Suk Nana. Right, was blind for five years. He received sight after Prophet Martin anointed him with the blood of Jesus anointing oil. So, there you have it. Let's kind of show you there like that. I'm not going to do much more of this stupid nonsense, but there you go. Oh, let me, let me, let me think about that. Yeah, let me just... Uh, Boy, I'm going to have to prayerfully consider and really search the Scriptures to see if these things are so. I don't think so. Uh, Woody Martin Ministries and Victory Temple Church at 306 East Broadway Street, Lenore City, Tennessee, zip code, invites you to attend the 45th, 44th annual anniversary revival services with prophetess Teresa Davis starting on June 3rd through June 10th. Do not miss her. For more information, call and there's a weird phone number there. Yep, there's there's the prophetess right there, buddy. I mean, you got to be a spirit-filled individual to wear a to have a zebra-striped microphone. I mean, that's important. <laughs> oh boy, more trash. Okay, and there's the uh, thing here. We'll probably oh, we got to put a stamp on it. Yeah. You know, maybe I'll send them a tract or something. Say, get saved, you worthless bunch of Satanist. And there's a magnet there. So, yep, I'm not going to throw this because I don't want this, you know, whatever this goo is with, uh, you know, food coloring in it here. I don't want coal tar dye, you know, and uh, coal tar is what is the basic ingredient of uh, food coloring. But, you know, look at that. I'll give you a good close up of this thing here. That's impressive, isn't it? I mean, you can just tell. I feel richer just holding it. <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, people. Makes you glad that we have the book, doesn't it? Because without the Bible, who would say that that's wrong? Who could say that anything's right or wrong? That's why this ministry is about this book. You look through the book, you say, there's nothing there about the holy blood of Jesus anointing oil. Yeah, there's oil, being people being anointed with oil and whatever, but there's nothing about the holy blood of Jesus anointing oil. And you put oil on your finances and you get rich all of a sudden. You put oil on your wallet or your credit card. You know, I see a house I like in the area, so I'm going to sneak up to the door and drip a bunch of, you know, drops of uh, red poison onto their doorknob, you know, and, and eventually they'll have to leave and I'll get their house or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I just thought I'd share everybody that with everybody there, you know. Sorry nobody's going to get any of the holy blood of Jesus anointing oil. But uh, <laughs> just comical. So that is going to be it. Thank you for watching.